Hello everybody, and welcome back to Wolfenstein. My television is telling me there's a software update. I'll do it later. Um, so hello everybody, and welcome back to Wolfenstein The New Order. Um, the last time we played, we went underwater a few times and uh, took out a German U-boat um, to get our hands on uh, some old .yishu technology, including the spindly torque, which is the most insane weapon ever. Um, and so now we are sitting on the lunar base. Uh, we've just arrived at the lunar base. We are impersonating a Nazi again. Um, <laughs> so a lot of undercover... BJ goes under a lot of undercover work. He, he does a lot of undercover work for... Uh, for what he does. So, uh, yeah, we're here on the moon base. Welcome to the moon, the Nazi moon base. Um, this is probably, I think, to me, I feel like this is the coolest part of the game. Um, just because, uh, typically you don't associate, um, space, <laughs> uh, travel, uh, and, like, a, a moon base, futuristic moon base with uh with nazis so it's actually kind of cool to see and uh the nazis up here are wearing these really cool special suits uh and they're walking around uh with the laser guns this guy's just uh, apparently standing here so yeah um lots of posters there's a dog, of course. Just gonna take a walk here. So I don't. Yeah, I think you can go and you can go on either side, really. I'm gonna go in on this side, though. Oh, maybe you can't. Oh, thank you for the thank you. Oh, of course. I will. So yeah, they have an X-ray machine here get you through. As you can see, it has that grid like the lasers, uh, the, like the the big laser does when you aim down sight, those square scanners. I see you have some shrapnel in you, memento from the Great War, I gather. Yeah, see, wouldn't that be nice? It were, well, I mean, oh, hello. Can I salute you? Yes, I can. I do that. Uh, yeah, sure. Hello. I really like his suit. The painted, the painted red and white Nazi logo there. That's pretty cool. So yeah, uh, here we are. Welcome to the moon. So yeah, this is uh, I think that probably like the coolest level ever. So we need to go get our stuff. So um, yeah, we're gonna. Where's the chief research scientist going? I like how those guys questioned uh, why I was going through the baggage claim. Which speaking of, um, there's actually a, a gold. Um, Kane back here. There it is, the gold cane. Uh, there's some, uh, there's a gold bottle and such. So, uh, yeah, I'll actually, um, I was going to read these recordings as well. Um, since we're now on the next level. July 10th, 1948. The war is over. The Nazis have declared victory. People are celebrating the peace. I can't stop crying. For me, this war is never ending. November 16th, 1961. The Nazi appears to have a hot temper. I learned this as I attempted to smash his head with the flower pot I dropped from my apartment window. Sadly, I missed. He had friends nearby. They broke my door down. I said it was an accident, but they gave me a black eye and spit on my dress. I want people on my side I can rely on. My grandparents are on my side, but they are not fit to fight. July 17th, my birthday, 1955. The Nazi appears to be a choosy bachelor. 
I learned this as we sat on a picnic blanket in the Meadowlands. He said he would kiss me if I bleached my hair blonde. I was nauseated by his request. But as long as I smile and hide the hate, no one is suspicious of me. So he drank the wine I spiked with sedatives, and I rolled him down a shallow grave. December 24th, 1956. My heart is breaking. Friends I've known my whole life have become Nazis. Mother and father are not happy about it, but they completely they comply rather than resist. I feign my smile and act cheerful, but I have started to resist m my own parents. I am 33 years old. I am all alone in the world. May 6, 1967. 1957, sorry. I should keep fighting, but who is there to fight? Everyone is a Nazi now, or at least they pretend to be. I can no longer tell the difference. August 28th, 1960. Death's, head men, Death's Head's men are coming by the asylum every other week. They are taking people that have been in my care for years. I look the other way. I hate them. I hate myself for giving up, but I can't fight alone anymore. I watch the man with the scars. I whisper things to him. Sometimes I can see part of him is awake. I wonder if he can see me. I will not let them take him. That was the last entry, William. Some of these of the things in this diary happened a long time ago, and some of them may have happened to me. I miss you. I missed you a long time before I miss I met you. So the way I actually took that is, um, basically, she hid her uh, her original identity. Yeah, because because my Caroline. fucking. Uh, do you read? suit my headset and my big ass laser by the way which I'm gonna be getting all fit well in those two little fucking cases my ass now black COVID. the goal here is to steal the nuclear decryption keys located in the command module in order to reach the command module you have to find a spacesuit and walk there on foot Across the lunar surface. Affirmative. I believe in you, William. Space suits are kept by the airlock. Your best chance to reach them is first go through the crew quarters, then onwards through the laboratories. So yeah, basically, uh, Ramona was um, Anya's previous. Um, her previous existence, basically. Um, she didn't... Uh, basically, everything that happened to her cousin, Ramona, actually happened to her. Um, they weren't actually her, her cousin. It was all her. Um, and so that was like her past life type of thing. Um, so yeah. Pretty crazy. So as you can see, we uh, the guns up here are white. So we have this white uh, pistol. Okay, well, I'll just use this then. So yeah, we're going to be actually using the marksman rifle a lot up here. Uh, because that's really what all they have access. Well, I wouldn't say that's all they have access to. We're, we're going to get the other we're going to get other guns too, but this is the gun that people carry around the most. So this is what you're going to see the most of and and we'll be able to obviously recharge it and everything. So unless of course we have uh, ammo um Oops. I, for, I keep forgetting that it switches, it swaps, uh, hitting up, swaps to, uh, to dual wield. Those are pretty cool doors, by the way, I gotta say. <clears throat> Alright, so we're gonna want to try to be quiet here.
I literally like walked up to kill him. There we go. Damn it. See, the dogs literally stop you from doing anything. There we go. And you're all fucked. Yeah. So say, who's shooting me? Oh, he's dead now. Okay. I was like, is he dead? Charge this up. We actually do need a big charger to charge these, by the way. Um, we can't charge them automatically. So. Alright, so with, we've gotten everybody in here. I'm going to throw that down. So as you saw with the uh, with these right here, if you shoot off the chain, they basically kind of explode. There's a little outward explosion. And so it basically, if somebody's walking, if there's somebody who's walking by, uh, by there, um, you fire that open and it'll just like instantly kill them. Well, it depends on the soldier, but most of the time they'll be instantly killed, so. Uh, he also had a gun. Okay, well, I don't need this, so I do want this. Oops. So there's actually dual silencers on this. Okay, cool. That's pretty awesome. Is this door locked? Yes. Okay, just making sure. Killed from under the bed. This guy was playing uh, the original Wolfenstein, apparently. So we can kind of just sneak through here. Kind of, it's kind of like, it's kinda like uh, what do you call it? Uh, kind of like the Death Star. A little bit. These. The, have how this looks. So there is a big ass mech walking around. That's why I'm kind of sneaking through. There we go. As I say, are you gonna let me kill the guy or what? I want the ammo. So there is no way through there. Kind of making sure that there's no one else around. Because, yeah, there is a big-ass mech walking around over there. Which we can go this way to avoid. goes he will walk back we'll be able to pass him there 
we go. I'd rather not waste... Just go. Go, go, go! I would have rather not wasted all of my ammo on that big guy, so I figured I would just uh, get the fuck out of here. Alright. Climbing down through the pipes. What we have in here? Just some random stuff. Ah, yes. Okay. Nobody is any the wiser. I still like to believe that nobody knows that I'm here yet. That my presence is still pretty much undetected. Except for those, that first room of people. I like to believe that nobody else knows I'm here. Because they haven't heard any alarms. There's been no alerts. But we can still look at the moon. Big old crater that we're sitting in. There you go, there's the alarm. I was waiting for that. You can sneak through here, but, um, I don't know why it, uh, wouldn't let me. By the way, there's people in there. We're getting away from the guy. We want to go towards the guy. Is he in here? I think he's in here. Hit up then. Stab. Kind of saved myself a little bit of ammo. Just fucking die already. Jeez, it's like they take so much ammo to kill off. Where are you? <laughs> I threw that knife right past his head. Unfortunately. Okay. There we go. Just stab a whole fuckload of them. Alright, well now let's go back down and pick... Well, let's go back down and pick up some ammo. I'm gonna lose some health on this, aren't I? Yeah. Oh well, my health is up to full. We are good. So yeah, this is like the... I, I call this the Moon Lab section. And it's like they, they perform a bunch of experiments on people here. I'm not going to dual wield those. It's useless. This gun doesn't hold a charge very long either, so you have to kind of be uh, careful um, with when you fire. So yeah, see there's people in there they're experimenting on. Oh 
I wish it held a charge as long as the uh, as this laser did. That'd be kind of nice. Yay, some armor! So, uh, yeah, there's nothing really out here, but, um, there is a couple collectibles that are in here when you come through here. Thick of it. Oh, are we good? I think we're good. Ah, uh, we could have charged a big gun there. So we're not going. Are we going? Are we going in here? I can't remember. Yeah. Um, okay. Oh, yeah, we're just going over. Over and down. And into the hall. Some armor that I do not need. Ah, here's a spacesuit. Space Woohoo! Okay, um, we're gonna need this. Da 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 dun 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 da 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 dun 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 Welcome to the moon Da 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 dun 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 Da 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 dun 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 Sound design was lovely for this. You have to be very vigilant with what you see because you can't hear shit. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, I had to put the spacesuit away. I'm like, what? Ding, now sounds back. Okay, now we can go through. Ooh. Oh, yes, this part. So I still got that uh, tattoo on my arm. But BJ ain't having it. I remember this moment. He's gonna cut that fucker off. Family gone, all of them yet. 
Faith, Faith kept her going. I, I, I cannot believe in such certainty. For me and everything, there must be doubt. Otherwise, there's no room to question the plan. And, gosh, look at this place. This is the fruit of unquestioned, ferocious conviction. This is where absolute certainty leads. Yet you are a believer. I often wonder what kind of a god would sanction suffering such as this, and I question myself whether my faith is misplaced. Maybe he's testing us. Well, Jimshin, if he is testing us, we are failing gloriously. I want to wrap that in a fucking bandage, for God's sake. I mean, you don't just take a scalpel you find laying around, cut off a big old chunk of your arm, and then expect to just keep walking around just fine. You need to bandage that shit. It's going to get infected. Bam! Drop that guy right next to the robot. Um, is he really just gonna sit there? I think he is, you know. Well, then we'll just go around. Grab that knife. All right, let's climb up here. Hi. Um, I just want to make sure nobody can call reinforcements if I go loud. No, I don't want that guy seeing me. He knows. He knows I'm here. Hey! Ah, shit. Oh, that fucking robot's coming back. I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Grab that. There we go. right off pistol ammo I always thought when I came up that this looked like a face like there's the bolts are the eyes and then that crease right there is the smile I thought I saw it was like a Pac-Man ghost hey me yeah what's up oh okay there we go you can have that Oh no, I threw my knife. Oh, I threw another knife. Oh no, I threw it again. I don't actually mean to do that. Oh, stab him. Seriously, that was cheap. Oh, great. Well, mistakes were made, and now I'm almost dead. It's typical. I want to recharge this just in case, though. There we are. Okay. Go here, and then go here. I'd like this health right now, please. Well, 
Welcome to the people uh, watching, by the way. I said hello, but hello. Are we good? Okay, we're good. Oh, there's nothing down there. Nothing good, anyway. I need those nuclear decryption keys. And you need to stop firing. Don't alert anyone. Alright. Although it's not gonna matter in a second, anyway. That dog didn't stand a chance. You can't hit me behind the glass. Oh, yes, you can. Never mind. Wee! Oh, look, a big Nazi, uh, big Nazi poster. Let's get out of here. Get off this rock. Uh oh. Security breach. It wasn't me. Clearly was not me. Oh, yeah, there we go. Nope, no alpha security breach. It's all a lie. Um, sorry, what? Um, I'm now confused. What? Shut up! How am I confused? Oh yes, here. You know, for somebody who's played this game multiple times, I still can't remember some shit I have to do. Which is a damn shame. No, security breach, not at all, no. Well, I can take out this guy. He's looking at me! But this guy is another story. Seriously? I was gonna say, is he not gonna see me? I was like... There we go. <laughs> I was kind of surprised if he wasn't going to actually see that I was standing there. He should see, he should see me. Okay, we're going to charge that. Uh, let's charge, I don't know, these are good, okay. Switch to that, switch to this. I have one shot left with this now. Fantastic. It's gonna be through this guy. There you go. I would really love some pi the pistol ammo is very scarce in this game. I uh, well, I mean in this level, not this game. Uh, in this level, pistol ammo is very scarce, uh, which kind of sucks, because I love going around using the the silence pistols. So. Tongue. Doesn't matter now, though. We're gonna have to go loud eventually, unless we can. Oh yeah, after this, actually. 
There we go. You, sir. No. Alright, we're good. So, uh, let's, uh, get on this little tram here. I love these seats, by the way. They're, they're uh, at a diagonal angle. So we can see the moon as we leave. Goodbye, moon. Um, goodbye, moon. Hello, angry fucking robot. No! Well, they tried to stop us. There's no stop in the rock, though. Can't stop the rock. Here we go. We're back at the little station here that they were waiting for us at. Despite failing in their attempts to kill us the first time. I don't know why that grenade did not explode. Yeah, there we go. Oh, did I cripple you? Oh, he was really crippled. He was fucked. He, he got hit by that grenade and it just like completely ruined the lower half of his body and partially the upper half of his body. This is your third warning. Oh, uh, that guy didn't stand a chance, period. You can get a knife. There you go. And there's a little bit of health for the overcharge. Just go ahead and grab that. Um, is there a recharge? Yeah, I was going to say, there's a recharge here in there. Because we're going to need it. Ow, did I just get hurt by the... I did, I got hurt by the fire on the uh, spaceship. What was that? That was an overcharge. Uh, but anyway, there's a big robot guy. There's two big robot guys, actually. There we go. We gotta get the fuck out of here! Commander Central in London, Nautica. A transporter number 4. The Lagen wurde vernichtet. Ich wurde von einem verdammten Terroristen angegriffen und bin gerade mit dem Leben davon gekommen. Verstanden, Transporter 4. Vollständige Einsatznachbesprechung nach Ihrer Antwort. Verdammte Mist! Wer ist im Schiff? Transporter 4. The things I've seen in this life. Strange shit that turns your stomach. Turns your hair white. All right, Captain Cowboys. Roger. This is your buddy boy Klaus Kreuz in the car heading toward the London Nautica. Roger. So we're coming back down uh, towards London here. I've seen a thousand battles. The London Nautica is opening fire. I think they are shooting at you. I've seen the sun set on five different continents. The sea does rise off the surface of the moon. But all I want is to see you again. Daylight. Cold. Yay! We're all but fucked. Oh dear. I have no guns.
Oh dear. Oh. oh. Shit. I guess I was supposed to get <laughs> Oh man. I don't know why I did that. It like turned around, totally gave me the option, and I just kinda sat there like, is he gonna jump out or Nope, I had to do it. I had to do it. Severs hab ich as de Asha de Schwarze Erbaut, maybe? Yeah. And uh, now I get to leave. Whee! There we go. Idiot. Ow. Oh, the head crush. There we go, and you get a headshot. Uh, what am I working with here? Assault rifle. Just kinda wanna just stay right here in this corner. There we go, drop him. I do have grenades, and those grenades are going straight for the shotgunner. See? There we go. Yeah, Klaus, you might want to hurry up, bro. So this is the uh, this is the um, newspaper I was I was uh, that I, I I love the most, I think. London, November fifteenth, nineteen sixty. The super weapons division of our military has created the largest weapon in the world. In the vast darkness of space, far above Earth, looms a gigantic orbital mirror which can harness the power of the sun itself. The sun uh, In the center of the mirror, a 2.5 kilometer long space station juts out, aimed directly at Earth. When activated, the sun focuses sun focuses the sun's energy into a death ray capable of incinerating entire cities and boiling the oceans. With this weapon, we can truly strike down on the anarchists and terrorists lurking in the darkest corners of the earth without sending in our brave troops to their potential deaths, commented the head of the Sun and Guer, uh, project, Hans Grupst. The risk of collateral damage is minimal, if not non-existent. So yeah, they built a gigantic super weapon on the fucking moon. I love that. I love that paper. Would you shut up? Leave me be. I'll get there. You know it's uh you know it's coming though, right? Some of you might who have played this game might know what's coming. For those of you who don't know what's coming, we're about to have a encounter with a certain monitor. A London monitor. Alright, so now we can go down in here. Hello, chopper, my old friend. Whee! Whee! Oh, yes, here it is. Um, okay, let's get the assault rifle out. Well. Oh, come on! Ser seriously? Can he not climb? Oh, for God's sake. Ah, oh, okay. Woo! For a second there, I was like, oh no. Alright, shotgun as well. Let's get the shotgun. Rolling! 
Yeah, I'm coming this way, buddy. You best run for your lives. Jeez. That guy just wouldn't die. I should have went dual shotgun on him. How dare you. Alright, picking up a little bit of health. Oh yeah, so this is Project Venus. They uh, they talk about what they, they do on Venus. So basically what they want to do is they... Uh, they want to go to Venus and they want to harvest minerals for the planet. London Degenerates Riot. London, November 15, 1960. In light of recent tumultuous events in the city, the London police organized a press conference to clarify the situation. The recent outbursts of violent and anarchistic behavior in the quarantine blocks is starting to escalate into an uncontrollable situation, said the chief police. Last night, hundreds of degenerates gathered in public places to riot, but were quickly put to, to a halt when the police deployed the London Monitor. The operation was an su incredible success. The Monitor killed every degenerate without any collateral damage whatsoever, said the Chief of Police at this morning's press conference. But it's not over. We have to be swift when dealing with these sorts of people. If you can, if you can call them people... All right. Um, so search the other bits of the room. I think I picked up his... Oh, uh, maybe I did not. I don't know. Fish and chips, not so popular. I love this. London, November 15th, 1960. New study finds that Londoners' long-standing relationship with fish and chips is coming to an end. Instead, the decent folks of the city have developed a craving for a more wholesome dish, sauerkraut and sausage. This is wonderful news, uh, said the Minister of Culture in a telephone interview this morning. Fish and chips is bad for your health. Sauerkraut and sausage is clearly superior. I love that. The love for German uh, dishes such as s sauerkraut and, fish, uh, and uh, sausage has now become the norm in London instead of fish and chips, although... I wouldn't say fish and chips are really that popular in London anymore anyway. I mean, it's pub food, but... I remember when uh, I was in London, um, we would go to restaurants and... Yeah, they'd have fish and chips on the menu sometimes, but, I mean, it's not something that would be most popular. You would more or less see those served in, like, pubs and stuff like that. How about, give me, I want the shotgun. Thank you. This weapon wheel is kind of jank. It's not the greatest. Um. Ow. Um. I, there we go. Say, I almost don't remember how to get down. Where was the... I thought I went through here. I, I know, I go through here. That's what I'm saying. So how come... Do I have to cut through it with the laser? Yeah. That was a terrible cut. Hello. Ooh! The helicopter! Um, there we go. That's what I wanted. Woohoo! There it goes! Peace out.
uh, poster about nuclear bombs. Um, map. I already have max ammo. Oh, what happened? What the fuck? What the fuck happened just then? Um, okay. Screen, like, totally went black. I don't know if you guys saw... It. If you see that in the video, I'll check. Um, I'm about 50, 50 minutes in, so I'll... I'll check uh, a little later. I still have sound, right? Okay. Oh. No. Um... And that's the way I need to go. How come I can't go that way? Oh no, maybe I have to. Oh, I have to go down here. Never mind. Maybe there was a collectible up in that area. Maybe that's what that place was for. I'm like. Boom! Now you don't get shit, sir. Who do you? What is this up here? Big old box of something. It's a charger <laughs> for the laser. Oh, I sh I fucked up his arm. Oh, see, he died from a throwing knife. That was pretty pathetic for of him. Is that I was that close and he died from a throwing knife? Where'd the other... Where'd it go? I just saw it. There we go. Okay. Man, I'm not very good at this anymore. Um... I'm trying to find where to go ahead and drop to. Uh, that's not bad. Oh, that was good. Oh, that was even better. Get that armor. Yeah, there we go. This is gonna be a bit of a shorter, uh, a shorter video um, than my my uh, my normal streams. Um. Because uh, I'm going to split this uh, last part into uh, two segments. Um, there's only four levels left, so uh, after this level, I, we're going to take a break, and then um, I'm going to start the stream up again for the last part, uh, which is what I'm gonna I'm gonna do. So I'm going to split the, the, the end of this game into two separate segments. I think that'll be... I think that'll work. Well, here comes the monitor! And there he is. Hi! This is the London Monitor. The biggest, baddest Nazi war machine. Uh. Oh dear. So you uh, you want to hit his eye with the uh, with the laser, this one.
Uh oh. Grab out flamethrowers. There we go. So you basically want to take out the you want to take out the cannons. You hit you hit the laser eye and then you take out the cannons up top. It's basically the way this works. Um, okay, how come that didn't work? There we go. Got two of them. It just needed just needed to be hit more than once. We're going on health. We're gonna save the health for a bit of a rainy day. Crunch time for me. Come on. go get a little bit of armor on us recharge our health just a tad let's use the machine gun works pretty well Although it run, ran out of ammo quite quick, I should have reloaded. There we go. Watch the feet. So you want to get right under here and and shoot the core. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I agree it sounds better in German. Totenkopf. I'm on the portable radio. 
So the Germans have now found our headquarters. Of course she is. Myself and Caroline were hiding in the helicopter hangar, trapped in here, completely surrounded. Too much chaos. Lost track of the others. They're either dead or they're hiding. Of course Jay's getting a little high. Klaus, no! out of a max <laughs> all right monuments of truth central berlin we're gonna stop it here and we will resume in just a second uh so i will see you guys in the next video